Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here, presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to execute trades using the order ticket with the TradingView mobile app. Now, the most recent idea that we created within the last few weeks, we demonstrated how to execute trades directly off the chart. This is more of a simplified approach to executing trades using the TradingView mobile app. And we're gonna first go ahead and show you where to go to pull up the simple order ticket. So right now we're looking at the micro E-mini S&P 500. This is an exchange traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the chart to identify a price level. It doesn't matter what price, as long as you click to identify a price, that's the first step. And how you do that, just simply click with your finger on the chart, anywhere on the chart, kind of hold it down until you actually see a price selected. So in this case, you can see 5300.50. The next step is you wanna click the little black plus sign to the left of the price that's selected and it's gonna bring up this little menu option and you'll see create new order. We wanna select create new order and this is gonna bring up the order ticket. So the order ticket's pretty straightforward. You can see at the very top what instrument you're about to trade, in this case MES U24, which is the micro S&P 500. You have the ability to change to a sell ticket just by clicking on the sell side or buy ticket by clicking on the buy side. It'll show you the bid and the offer price, 52.50 for example by 50 and a half. It'll obviously change because the market's trading right now. It'll show you the spread between the bid and the offer price as well. And you'll see the different order types that are below the bid and the offer price. So for example, market, you have limit, you have stop and stop limit. And of course, when you select a specific order type, the different values and parameters that you have available to select below are gonna change. So for example, market order, you're basically not specifying a specific price. You're basically saying either sell or buy at the current market price, get me in at the best price available. However, with limit orders, you can now see there's a price field. Same goes for stop as well as stop limit. So here's an example. If I were to place, let's say, a simple buy market order, I wanna change the order ticket to buy just by simply clicking on the buy side. You can see it's very obvious when it changes from one color to another. Blue is the buy transaction and red being sell. So in this case, I'm gonna select market as the order type. And then units, also known as lots or contracts, how many contracts you wish to buy or sell. You can adjust the value just by clicking in there and changing the value manually, or you can click the little calculator icon to the right and just simply choose the value from the little preset values that you see below. And then of course you have the ability to attach a take profit and stop loss bracket order if you decide to do so. For now, let's just place a simple buy market button or buy market order. If you look at the very bottom of the order ticket, now you can see it's saying buy one micro S&P 500 MKT, which is the abbreviation for market order. I'm gonna click that buy market button. Looks like we got filled at 52.53.75. And this is how you execute a simple trade, for example, using a market order. Let's go ahead and do the opposite by selling at the market to offset our long position. So again, you wanna make sure you select the specific price level on the chart. It does not matter what price level, just hold down with your finger on the chart on a specific price level until that black selected price is displayed as you see it now. Then you wanna click the plus sign and you wanna select create new order within the context menu. Now, since we're already long, we're gonna change this to a sell ticket. We're gonna keep the order type as market. And now you see at the bottom selling one micro S&P 500 at the current market price. Hit that sell market button. Now we sold it back at 52.51.25. If we look at our account summary, you can see now we no longer have any positions open. All right, so here's another example. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just place a buy market over here at the top. Uh, so just gonna play buy market. All right, now we're gonna go and just activate a price level on the chart. The reason why I got into the position because I wanna show you how to place a pending order now this time. Since we're long, let's place, for example, a sell stop to protect our long position. So right now we have a price level selected at 53.10.50. We're gonna click that little plus sign. We're gonna select create a new order. We're gonna change this to a sell ticket. And this time we're gonna select limit as the order type. So right now we're currently long from, let's just double check once again, from 52.51.75. Let's just say we wanna place a sell limit at 52.53.75. So we're gonna go back to the sell ticket, create new order, limit order. All right, and then I had to go back and check the long position once again. So it's, it looks like it's 52, 51, 75. So we're gonna do 52, 53, 75. So I'm gonna enter the price manually this time. All right, make sure we have limit. Now we're gonna let that tick at the bottom there, the, the big button. Selling one micro S&P 500 at 52, 53.75. This time it says LMT, which represents a limit order, which is correct. Actually, you know what? I just realized, let's actually change this to a stop order. So we wanna protect our position. So let's just do, um, if we're long from 51.75, let's just change the, uh, this, let's make the sell stop to 49.75. All right, now I'm gonna hit the sell stop at the bottom there. And let's check out our account summary, make sure everything is proper. 
So we have our long position at 52, 51, 75. If we go to orders and working, you can see there's our sell stop at 52.49.75. All right, and this is how you execute trades using the simple order ticket using the TradingView mobile app.